might be successful if there are no issues with fecus, endometriosis, and sperm quality? So when you answer this question, doctor, please also explain what an IUI is and when is it recommended as well? Right. So IUI is actually basically uh, taking a sample uh, from uh, you know a man, or it could be your partner, or anybody else, because we have what we call donor IUIs as well. So basically, the sperm is prepared. So be, uh, the principle is we get the best uh, the swimming sperms out of the sperm sample, uh, concentrate them, and uh, separate and give uh, prepare it and give it to the doctor. And the doctor will uh, uh, put them in a very tiny tube and uh, uh, deposit them inside the womb. So basically, we are trying to bypass because normally what happens is when uh, with sexual activity, the sperm get deposited in the posture phonic because the upper end of the vagina. So then the, the the sperm has to swim up through the neck of the womb into the uh, uterine cavity and from there through the tubes to where the, uh, the egg is will be there usually at the uh, the mid portion of the uh, tube where the, the fertilization occur. So this is we are bypassing uh, the uh, that uh, you know the the, the sperm's uh, length to swim and also we are getting the best sperms and depositing. So we are making sure that sperms are inside the the, the womb. Now. Uh, the, now, a lot of people think it's not like 100% or anything like that. Now, if uh, if there are no issues with sperm counts, and uh, if you have uh, a natural cycle, the chance of pregnancy is 20% per cycle. So there's a 20% chance that somebody can get pregnant if they have regular sexual intercourse or what we call unprotected sexual intercourse in a month. Uh, on the other hand, in IUI, so in a one instance, there is a 25% chance. So there is a five percent increase but uh, compared to uh, having sex about three times a week to uh, you know no uh, during the period non-period time that is about three weeks so this is a one-off thing that we do and we can do it once in a cycle or maximum uh, in another couple of days time we do another but usually it's uh, one per cycle so there's a 25 percent chance now uh, for some women for instance if there are problems with sperm count uh, uh, the sperms, uh, when we talk about the concentration, that we uh, ideally for even for IUI, it has to be more than 10 million per uh, ml. ml. Uh, now, for a natural uh, conception, we think that we need about 15 million. So, if it is between 10 to 15 million, we consider um, uh, IUI. <clears throat> and also, if it is less than 10 million, so between 5 to 10 million. So then uh, we have to do uh, IUI because the chance of natural conception is very much less. Also, uh, that's one indication. So then uh, for that, it's, it's uh, a woman like that where the sper the, her partner's uh, sperm counts are low, then IUI 25% is a big increase. Similarly, uh, when you have endometriosis, polycystic ovarian syndrome, or any other you know, uh, uh, fibroids or anything like that, where there can be issues with fertility, then that problem is still there. Like if somebody is not ovulating, whether we do IUI or not, the eggs should be there. So this is the this mainly uh, for partner issues. Also, once we try the natural cycles, usually three to six times, then we have to think of IUI because if you do back to back IUI six times or six cycles, there's a seventy percent chance of pregnancy. So after that, usually uh, the this the uh, it doesn't matter how many more cycles you do, usually it's only 70%. So after six cycles, it's recommended that uh, you should go for IVA for uh, stop treatment. So that is uh, where we are. And is this service provided in government hospitals as well or only in private hospitals at the moment in Sri Lanka? At the, uh, no, in the IUIs are done in uh, some of the government hospitals because the preparation is there. But we use a, a bit of a older technique called swim up technique. So the, the private sector has something called uh, density gradient. So basically, they their preparation of sperms are a bit, bit more superior quality. But uh, if for somebody is uh, with a normal sperm count, uh, the normal uh, the dormant sector one is also equally uh, infected. And one last follow-up question, Doctor. So does a woman's age uh, affect the success of an IUI as well? For everything, right? Everything. So the, now, yeah. So for instance. Uh, 
uh, like obviously somebody is after 35 years okay. natural uh, you know there's a problem uh, but uh, now like after 40 sometimes we can't do ivf because from the patient's eggs because the the cost effectiveness is not good enough because we give a lot of medicine and yield of eggs is not enough so in these instances after 40 you can think of iui for a few cycles to see because then if they the next option would be ivf with a donor so in those instances they can try for a but you have to always remember when we try to manipulate then the complication rates are also higher like uh, it's pregnancy related in the sense having a down syndrome baby or things are higher because we are yeah. trying to get out get the eggs which are not supposed to come out also sometimes all right thank you very much doctor for providing valuable information on iui